All right, from gym rat to lab rat, CU is now studying the effect marijuana has on the fitness obsessed. Now, the research isn't finalized, but weightlifters and runners told our Gary Broad their experience has been less pain, more gain. Ben Bennett is pressing 250 pounds. It's a lightweight for the personal trainer who also competes in strongman. This is a strongman. This is a, a log. What's more impressive than lifting a grown man and then some over his head? Bennett is doing it high. I feel like there's that stigma where people that kind of sit on the couch and zone out. For Bennett, that's not the case. It's easier to kind of focus. Weed and workouts seem to be a growing trend around athletes. World-class sprinter Shikari Richardson was barred from the Olympics for testing positive for marijuana. The NBA has suspended drug testing for it. What a pass. What we're looking for is how they feel during exercise. That answer, among others, has led CU Boulder to study the cannabis effect on exercise. One thing that I think is really telling is the huge amount of interest it's kind of excruciating. among our participants. It's nothing at all. Around 20 people have already participated in the study, which started in late summer. Then, yeah. Heather Mashuti was one of the volunteers who ran on a treadmill for 30 minutes three times throughout the course of about a month. Their second time is when the subject smokes a joint with either THC or CBD. They are not told which. And I came back the second time, and that was the time that I had taken the product. The van, you know, picks me up. I get the product from a uh, outside vendor. Um, the campus doesn't, you know, have anything really to do with that. And then, yeah, and then I get on the treadmill and I do another 30-minute run. Mashuti doesn't use marijuana recreationally, but does use it when training for ultra marathons. You are less identified with. Um, you know, your internal thoughts like, oh, my knee hurts, oh, this sucks, it's too hot, right? And you're more interested, or at least I am, in the environment. Right. Running high Whereas, is something yeah, Josiah Hesse yeah, knows. Like mirror, so well, like, he wrote a book on it. Name of the book is Runner's High. He says the interest of exercising while using marijuana, especially among runners, was too popular to ignore. The people that I spoke with were putting numbers at like 60 to 80 percent of professional athletes are using cannabis in some form. Has he believes marijuana can provide both physical and mental benefits to your workout. Pain is not just the pain you feel in your ankle, it's also your emotional reaction to that pain. And something interesting that cannabis does as a pain reliever is it doesn't uh, shut down the sensation of pain, it sort of dampens down the emotional reaction to that pain. The study at CU is still nearly two years from completion. Yeah. But Dr. Angela Bryan has already seen something we're all wondering. It seems like this is definitely something that's feasible for people to do in a way that's safe, which is kind of one of the questions that we had. It's a controversial thing to admit, but not always. I don't think it is safe. Um, my rule is don't try new things stoned. Get to know the activity very well first before you try integrating cannabis with it. I don't feel it's dangerous. I'm Gary Bro. Does it have the potential to be dangerous? Yes. Number seven. <laughs> Interesting. And researchers will also be looking for reactions like paranoia and anxiety. Now, the hope here is their findings will ultimately influence how marijuana is treated by governing sports bodies.